design to create conflict visually for my film. My name is Sarah Kogan. I am a costume designer and visual producer for film and television. And I help filmmakers craft cinematic cohesion by understanding how to align their film's design to their script and their story. We experience conflict visually through contrast. The higher the contrast, the higher the, the conflict. The lower the contrast, the higher the harmony. So the five elements that we work with across production design, uh, costumes, hair, makeup, cinematography, lighting, right? All of that has to do with these five elements. There's color, line and form, texture, scale and space, and movement. So color is what we're, we often see a lot of people talk about because it's the easiest and most obvious to talk about. And the conflict that you create there is based on how far apart are the elements on the color wheel, right? So the further across the wheel that they are, the higher the contrast, right? So true contrasting color palettes are, you know, cyan and red, for example. And so they're directly across one another on that color palette wheel. For line and form, it gets a lot more complicated. There are multiple things that go into creating conflict between two elements. There's, whether it's a straight line or a curved line, a organic line versus a manufactured line, something that's mechanical and straight has a perfect edge. There is whether or not it, its thickness is, is it really thin or is it really thick? And these elements layer upon one another to create one's visual weight and its level of contrast to the other elements. Then there is texture and that can be anything from, is it smooth versus rough? Is it squishy versus hard, right? These kind of this versus that is how we start creating conflict. Is it for, for scale and space, it can become tiny versus massive or massive versus a tiny closed in space. Scale is very much dependent upon what we are seeing because the way that we perceive scale has a lot to do with the size of the frame and the object size within that frame. So scale is really about are we squeezing a character? Are we making them too big? Are we having a character take up more space versus a character that kind of is much closer to the body in their form. There's a lot of ways that we can play with scale and space to not just from how much of the world we see, but how much space does a character actually take up in comparison to the other person, right? Everything about contrast and harmony has to do this versus that. And so when we look at how we utilize then with movement, it becomes a question of, is there movement? Is there no movement? Is it actual movement of them fluttering across the room? Or is it perceived movement where there's a sense of frozen movement, right? They're still not moving. But if that is in comparison to something that feels static, then there is some sense of space and life and breath in that, right? And so again, we're looking at how are we creating conflict and harmony between these different elements. And that is what film design does to help you create that for your film. So if you found this helpful, please like or comment below. Tell me what you tell me what you thought of and what came up for you. If you would like to learn more about how film design can affect your story and how you can utilize it to enhance the films you're creating, follow me here. Or take it even further and check out my course from text to moving images, where I teach you step by step how to break down the conflict within your film, not just on a story level, right, but on a emotional design level, and then how to plot that out. So regardless of how crazy your filming process is, you know exactly what your intention is for each scene, for where that lands as a storytelling moment in the big picture of your film. Thanks for checking this out and I will talk to you soon.